So, I am so honored to be here with Space 776. The body of work here, re-entry as it is called, was done in part during my artist residency with them. I just moved back to New York in September and I stayed with them for three months and then had this show coming and yeah. It's really interesting to me because like I see some of the work that was started here during the residency where I first started experimenting with a new medium that is in all of the work. It's a modeling paste that takes different pigments to mix with it, but it also, when it dries, lends itself to really like any kind of color adhering to it and different mediums create different results. So all these are on one panel primarily, and it's the modeling paste as the base. And then, it's funny because some of the colors, people are interested in what it is, and it's things like, this is sumi, which is a Japanese ink stone that you grind yourself and you like make the ink yourself, and this is sumi that I did that way. And like, these are acrylics, and like, these are, these are Crayola markers over here, and like, acrylic paints, and these are pens over here, and like, so, you know, it, it all comes together. I really am satisfied with everything I have up right now. It's funny, because typically I know that I'm done with the work, but it makes me want to throw up. <laughs> when I'm like at the point where I'm ready to dry heave, or if I do dry heave, which has happened, then I'm like, okay, I, I, okay, that's it for that. <laughs> that's good for now. And um, it's been interesting to work in a larger format too. Prior to this gallery show, I had never really done anything larger than probably like three feet by three feet. And I knew that I wanted to do larger work for the gallery show. And because I never really had in the past, I didn't even know what that would bring out of me. So seeing this come and appear before my very eyes as I was working on it well, was really thrilling and really interesting for me too because I get into like almost a trance-like state when I'm working with these and it's like a conversation that I'm having like beyond language just with like flow and energy and the eternal and you know it, there's like a depth to just like my relationship with space and color on these planes that are just canvases. I like to think all of these are landscapes mostly and I'm looking into other worlds that exist. Not other worlds in other places. These are all other worlds in this place with us right now just like on other planes in the same space. We're sharing space with way more than we're consciously aware of in every moment. So that's kind of where I go with these. I'm stuck on my trail. <laughs> so I wish in the daytime right now to be seeing this work because the way the light comes through, the white here, this is the modeling paste. So this is what the raw modeling paste looks like. And it's it's thicker in different areas, so when light comes through, it creates this real moodiness of like grays and whites and shadows in the room. And these were all done in one night in an assembly line with my breasts. So this is, I have a, with my breasts. Oh my God. I have this big roll of transparent film and I tediously cut out eight by 10, eight by 10s to do. And I, would cover a breast in modeling paste, and then, you know, it was just like, bam, 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 bam. Just like, one for mall. Oh, I need more, I need more, put it on more. Bam, bam, my tit. <laughs> just like squishing my tit against the, the transparency. And uh, I was taping them up on my wall as I was doing it, because like I don't have a lot of space to work in where I'm working. So I only have as many as I could fit. <laughs> and so all the modeling paste, all the wipes were done first on all of them. And then all of the, the turquoises, that's the acrylic, was done just like, it's all a boob. <laughs> And you can see where, like, so where it's the blues, the turquoises are thinner here. That's because there was less paint on my boob there. Yeah. I had to reapply. <laughs> and then it's like the glitter glue that I've let people play on me with. The gold is the glue.
glitter glue. And then I felt like that wasn't enough, so I just emphasized with a little red and orange. And I did this work because I wanted to like pop up outside of the Scope Art Fair and try selling my art on the street. And I knew that I couldn't bring like most of my work's on wood and that's hard to travel with. So I showed up there with a series, this new edition of these abstracts instead. And uh, I sold three of them. So, you know, that's something. Or was it four? Work. I love it. It's amazing. Yeah. The work is amazing. And I, it creates a lovely abstract, right? It's amazing. The human titty makes a beautiful flower when you put paint on it and press up against it. <laughs> And I didn't even know that until I did this experiment. Oh, yeah. So, no, but in all honesty, I do want to work, do some larger works on the transparent film now, because I wouldn't have worked with this if I didn't want to do a small series to be able to sell on the street. But in doing it and in hanging it here and seeing the light and shadow and everything really doing what I expected it to, I want to make larger work that can be hung on the windows, like the poor man's stained glass, essentially. Because it's such a lovely thing. It's, you know, it's, it really is great. Imagine just like a window with like a painting on these clear transparencies with light and shadow moving in your room during the course of the day. I think it's a lovely, lovely thing that I'd love to do more of. Yeah. I need to get to more opacity though. I've already got things brainstormed in my head. Yeah. Alright, so this larger piece here is the first piece that I did after leaving the, the uh, residency here in the new space that I moved to. And it's one of the largest pieces in the show. It's only these two that are this big. And this is the most recent piece that I've done. So this is this is the piece that was finished most recently. And I just want to tell a funny story about this piece because so this show is looming and I have to like send the gallery images and names of all the work and sizes and all that kind of stuff. And and I have a friend who's hanging out with me and I'm lamenting over naming my work. And I and I'm like, and this one I just finished. So I've named most of the already. I mean, I've been looking at this for the last three days and I don't have anything yet. It was like tilted that way when, he, when I first was showing it to him. And he goes, just just tilt it that way? Yeah. It's the Donald. The Donald? The Donald. I was like, okay. All right. The Donald. He's like, yeah, the, the, the oranges and the, the red. Like, he... He actually tells the story much better than I do, but the fact that this is named The Donald and it's the most recent out of everything, I just I just think is really hilarious. The Donald. That's The Donald, no doubt. circle and just squirting this like glitter glue at me while like cheering me on for like modeling for them and stuff. It was amazing. 
That's not exactly how it happened, but forever in my head, that is how I will remember it. <laughs> no, it was really fun. It was really fun. Yeah, I definitely had a couple friends say it was like the most fun thing they've done in a while. So. Love to like share the joy of art that is obviously overflowing through me. My cup runneth over. Ain't nothing better than art. What's your name? Heather. It's uh, Heather Ray Hatton. Yes. And I've done all of these paintings in the last six months. Wow. Yeah. That's easy. I had an artist residency with the gallery that we're in right now for three months. And I started this body of work there with them when I first came back to New York. That's why it's called Reentry. And uh, yeah, it's been fun. Two two nine central. Our artists always need that we want to to bring themselves back. Yo, now, bro, it is, bro. It's just a work of art. Man. So where will I wear this next? I have now. I'm gonna have to like wear this anytime I go out to art events. Yes. You have a uniform. Yeah, but it's different. I would feel just to quit. It just has kind of, uh, a sense of form. You can just put it on. Can you have a show and put it in paper? Yeah, so my friends, you can yeah, add to it. it. Can you have uh, some art show or something? Man, Constantly uh, evolving work. Exactly. This add is to the, it. This yeah. is a canvas. A good Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's a perfect way to, yeah. I was saying, I don't know why people don't do, to the, do this to their wedding dresses all the time when they get married. Yeah. Like at the end of it, like what else are they going to do with it? Hey everyone, let's trash you get a lot of wedding dresses, you have a new one. And you know after a while, I post it bad. Well now that And that one time you have a show with so only wedding dresses. <laughs> Right now, actually, I'm going to write a proposal for Governor's Island yeah. to do this there and have people doing it there <laughs> as a project. Yeah. yeah. I love it. You're like, it's yeah. from you. See, I'm already telling other people about it. Oh my god, it's on. <laughs> it's on. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna like start going to Domsies on a weekly basis because they have like five dollar dresses over there and just buy anything I see that's white. Yeah. Five, seven, zero, six, four, seven, nine, five, four, four. Yes. And when we hang out, I will tell you what four. Oh, of course. Like hostess on beans. I just feel like I just feel so like I just want to like a change, like a like evolve next four months before my first. So there's a job that I'm supposed to do.